peace and love. It's your boy Chris and Light and coming back again with some more spiritual vittles. And today I'm going in on ancestor money. How much should I burn? This is a good one, family. This is a good one. Because I don't know if enough people are burning ancestor money. A lot of people know about it, but a lot of people aren't doing it. But it's needed. In cultures across the world, they know the value of burning ancestor money. The reason why we even burn ancestor money is because on the other side, when you transition, resources aren't as plentiful as they are here. And ancestor money opens up doors of opportunity for your ancestors. That's what it does. That's the purpose of it. It also erases your ancestors' negative financial karma. And it also helps liberate them from their financial karma, which in turn help them liberate your financial karma while you live it. So it's a, it's a double-edged swirl, a swirl on the good side. You're helping them and they're helping you. It's just that simple. I like to burn these thousand dollar bills. I like to burn these hundred billion dollar bills. And I like to burn these big boys, the hundred to a trillion dollar bills. That's what I do. I also burn gold. I also burn gold. The reason why I burn gold is because we use gold in our reality. It's worth something. It's worth a lot over here. And so when I burn this little thin sheet of gold, it's like gold bouillon on the other end. It really opens up doors of opportunity. You can burn gold. We also have burned silver. We burn silver, gold, ancestor money. When I first started my altar, I was burning real money, like a dollar here and there. And then I heard about, depending on your ancestors' karma, the dollar value amount either increases or decreases. So if you was a good doer, the ancestor money, as well, a dollar may turn to a billion dollars. If you were a negative person, that dollar may turn into some cents. So then I transitioned to ancestor money because I wanted to give my ancestors bouillon and large denominations of money. Another thing you should do at your altar is you should always give your ancestors some food. Food gives them sustenance. It's kind of like this, family. When you put a piece of chicken on your altar, your ancestors are not going to bite that chicken. But it's similar to how we eat apples. When an apple grows on the tree, it takes the energy of the sunlight and it converts it into the apple. So when you eat that apple, essentially you're eating the energy of the sun. So when I, when I put food on my ancestors' altar, they're actually eating the energy of that food and it gives them substance. It makes them strong. It allows them to do what they need to do on the other end. It's just it's a way to show your ancestors that you care and love them. But back to the ancestor money. What I like to do is roll it up in a circular pattern. And again, you can do it however you want. And right where the split is, I like to bend that in. I like to bend that in. And I find a split on the other end, and I bend that in, and I create a tube. That helps, that helps the money burn evenly. And when I light it, I say this is for my ancestors, known and unknown, give thanks. I light it, and I put it in. Another way I like to burn my gold is I like to fold my gold up. I fold it up like this. I fold it up just like this. And again, there's no right or wrong at your altar. You do it as you please. You do it as you please. I fold it up like this. If you want, you can write your ancestor's name down in red ink or dragon's blood ink, and it goes directly to that person. And this is for my grandmother, Odessa Barnett. I hold it, I burn it a little bit, and then I drop it in, and my ancestor gets that money. My ancestors get that money. I know some people, if they just put their money in the fire, and that's fine too. You can burn it however you please. It's up to you. These big boys right here, I like to roll these up and Joss paper feels so good on the phalanges. It feels so good. And I rolled it up like this. And I say, this is for my ancestors, known and unknown. I light it, and I put it in. It's something magical about fire. A lot of people don't realize that fire is the quickest way to get things over to the other side. Whenever you burn anything in this reality, it goes directly to your ancestors. That's winning all day. That's winning all day. You can write down your issues. You can write down things you want to, negative qualities about yourself you want to get rid of. You can do all that. Anything you want to write down, you can burn it at your altar and give thanks in advance. It's something magical about the flames burning all your desires and things you want to change in your life. It's something magical about that. So family, I want you guys to invest in some ancestor money, invest in your spirituality, and invest in your ancestors. It will help them. It will help them win, family. It will help them win. So on that note, 
Peace and love, family. It's your boy, Chris and Lightning. I can be reached every Monday night on my hit radio show, Twin Flame Radio. Call in and speak to the God, 619-924-0835. I would love to hear from you. Um, you can go out to Amazon and check out my books, Poverty Consciousness, Wealth Consciousness, and The Enlightened Taught. So on that note, family, peace and love. Get to burning. Winning. <laughs>